video, we're going to be talking about how to go live on Telegram, how to share your screen, and how to record your live session. Telegram is an all-encompassing platform. I love it so much. And you can do all this without the need of a third-party tool. That is how fantastic and how amazing Telegram is. So I don't want to take your time. Let's go to my phone and let me show you how this is done. So the first thing is you want to search for your group. You have you can only go live on a Telegram group or on a Telegram channel, which is owned by you. Okay. You must be an admin or you must be the owner before you can go live. So I'm going to select this particular one here. So you first of all, click on the name at the top. That is the name of your group. Then you locate and click on the three dots at the top right corner. Then you want to click on start video chat. Okay, immediately you click on that, you'll be given two different options. The first one is start video chat in blue and the next one is schedule video chat. So if I click on the start video chat, what happens? I go live immediately. But what if I don't want to go live immediately? I'll click on this schedule video chat and it will give me the date, day and time for me to select when I want to go live. So once I set that, what happens? Um, you can only set it in the next maybe like seven days or so. So once you select the date and time you want to go live, then you click on start on, you can see it will give you the date. So once you click on that, what happens? It will give you the date, the time that you can go live. Once you have set it, the time and dates that you have set to go live. The next thing is for you to come to the bottom left corner and click on share. And at the lowest part of your screen, you will see copy link. Once you copy link, then you automatically have a link that you can share to people for them to anticipate and wait for the date at which the live class is going to hold. You can also click on the three, minor, three dot sign at the top right corner here. And you will see all other things that you can do to this live session that you have scheduled to host next time. So you can see audio and you can see edit video chat title, which means that you can give your live session a title. You can edit permission. What, you, what do you want people to do before they join the session? You can see new participants can speak. New participants are muted. So if you click on mute, new participants are muted. It means that immediately once people join, they will not be able to say anything. Okay. So this helps you. It doesn't, um, people will not disrupt your training. Okay. Immediately they are joining. They cannot say anything. So, you know, some people will join trainings and they'll begin to make noise and their children are making noise in the background or they are watching film or something. So once you click on new participants are muted, this is very good. It means that those people will not be able to talk and your live session will be going on smoothly. So let's click there again. You can also see share invite link. You can also click here to get access to the invite link. Immediately you are done. You know, we're not going live right now. We just click on cancel and it will be at the top of your, you can see it at the top right here. Okay, you can tap on it and you'll be able to come back here to come and pick your link or do any other adjustment you want to do before the live session goes. Okay, so that is where you can copy your live session and the like. So let me cancel this. I want to close it. I want to, um, I want to end the session. So I'll just click on that and I click on cancel video and end video. So let's assume we want to go live right now. I'll click on my name again or the group name again. I click on the three dots at the top right corner again and I click on start video chat. Then I click on start video chat immediately. That's blue. Okay. So now you can see I'm already on mute. So once you click on that big blue button, it turns green and whatever you're saying is going to be heard by everyone on the group. So this is how you turn on your microphone and you'll be able to speak and they'll be able to hear you. Please take note. You can see the movement around that microphone. If it is not moving like that, it's either you are having a network problem or you have muted yourself and it will be blue if you have muted yourself. So take note of that. 
So let's mute this. This is where you click. You see this camera icon here? Immediately I click it, it will activate my camera and I'll be able to go live. I don't want to activate my camera right now. <laughs> I don't want to activate my camera right now. So I'm just showing you that. So the next thing I want to show you is if you click on that three dots, you can actually share your screen. Can you see this? Share your screen. It means that if you have a slide, I'll cancel this, please. If you have a slide or you have um, a PowerPoint slide or a Canva slide that you have created, a presentation slide, you can share it. Or if you want to teach people what you are doing on your screen, you want them to be seeing it. You want them to see what you are clicking and you are clicking it. And go this, go there, click here, click here. You click on that and share your screen. Okay. You can share your screen with that. The next one I love the most is this um, start recording. I love it because uh, most of the time, if you're holding a group session, not everybody will be live with you. So what happens if you click on this start recording and you click on start recording, what happens? It will tell you to give your recording a title. So I can give my recording a title and I click on start. Immediately I click on start. Whatever I am saying in this live session that I am currently will be recorded either video or audio, you don't need an external device to be able to record your live session on Telegram. And you don't need an external device to be able to share your screen on Telegram. Telegram is super packed. Okay. So once you are done, once you click on end live session, it will tell you that the live session has ended and it will save, it will automatically save whatever you have said in your meeting it will save it somewhere okay so let me go and show you this is it this particular icon here is created you see saved messages so when i click on it these are the previous live sessions that i have had that it has saved the information for me most of the time i do audio live sessions i don't show my faces okay but if you want to show your face i've already shown you you just have to click on that camera icon at the bottom left corner of your screen when you want to go live and that is how to go live on telegram either on telegram group or your telegram channel it is very easy very simple and there you have it i hope you got value from this if you did do well to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the bell notification so that you'll be one of the first set of people that get notified when i upload a new video and don't forget to give this video a like so that the youtube algorithm can show it to more people. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.